Shayan swiftly pushed open the door and walked out. He saw a beautiful figure in snow-like clothes on the edge of the quiet courtyard in front of his room. The figure was standing there elegantly. The smile on the lady's face was extremely alluring. Have you finally returned? Shayan stopped walking. He looked at the lady, who stood in scattered sunlight, and was involuntarily startled. The little fairy doctor's snow-like hair had once again regained its original color. Long black hair poured down her back like a waterfall, randomly spreading behind her. A gentle wind blew over, causing her hair to sway. The appearance of the little fairy doctor was the same as when Xiao Yin had first met her back in Qinshan town within the Jiama Empire, except her alluring demeanor had become more potent. Even the gentle smile on her face was the same. The current her was the true little fairy doctor. Back then, she had rescued the dead and supported the injured within the Qinshan town. She had been viewed as a fairy in the heart of a countless number of mercenaries. Why? Don't you recognize me? The little fairy doctor took a couple of steps forward and arrived in front of Xiao Yin. She looked at his stunned expression and involuntarily laughed. Your hair, Xiao Yin muttered. His eyes suddenly paused on the little fairy doctor's smooth forehead. There was a faint, grayish complicated imprint at that spot. At a glance, it appeared just like a seal. This is the spot where the woeful poison body exists. At this moment, all the woeful poison chi within my body has transformed into this seal. That elder is really an extraordinary person. She was able to create a method to completely condense the woeful poison body. The little fairy doctor gently rubbed the symbol on her smooth forehead as she laughed. Xiaoyan nodded while feeling at a loss. His eyes swept over the little fairy doctor before he bitterly laughed. From what I can sense, the aura that you currently possess is likely even stronger than Tian Huizunja, right? It should be at the seventh star. The little fairy doctor replied with a sweet smile. Sealing the woeful poison body appeared to have caused the large rock in her heart to fully scatter. Her smile now was more relaxed and more tempting. A seven-star dozone. Shayan involuntarily sighed when he heard this. Putting it this way, it seemed that even the little fairy doctor had raised her strength by three stars or so. This caused Shayan, whose strength had barely risen by two stars after swallowing a heavenly flame, to feel extremely speechless. Why was it that he was acquainted with people who could not be a little more ordinary? My body had gathered too much poison chi. The best evidence of this was the transformation of my hair into a white color. But after practicing the chi method that the elder had left behind, the poison chi that I had gathered became a tonic. Otherwise, I would not have been able to make this leap, the little fairy doctor gently explained. Shayan helplessly nodded. He was naturally happy that the little fairy doctor and the others could experience such a lucky encounter. From another point of view, the increase in their strengths could be considered an increase in his. Nevertheless, this kind of rising speed was a little shocking. Everyone's strength had basically soared within less than one year, and they had all reached quite a strong level. With the lineup of Xiaoyan's group, they would be able to kill the ninth Tianzuin from the Hall of Souls should they meet him again. A person who appeared to only possess a five-star strength but was able to unleash a frightening combat strength that was comparable to a six-star or even seven-star expert along with two six-star dozuns and an expert seven-star dozun with the woeful poison body. As long as the Hall of Souls did not activate a Banshin class ultimate expert, this lineup would be able to escape in one piece even while being chased by the Hall of Souls. Since you have arrived, it is time for us to leave. Xiaoyan gradually recovered from the joy of the great increase in the little fairy doctor's strength. He stretched his lazy waist and laughed in an indolent manner. The little fairy doctor smiled when she heard Xiaoyan's decision and did not object. Her heart felt quite happy with quietly helping him do things from behind. The second day after the little fairy doctor returned to the Falling Star Pavilion, Xiaoyan's group once again gathered together. After some preparations, the four of them quietly left. Other than Yao Lao and a few others, they did not alert anyone as they left. The Gu Realm was located in the eastern region of the Central Plains. Most of the factions in that region were subordinates of the Gu clan. However, the supreme leader of this eastern region was foreign to even some of the leaders of these factions. They only knew that this exceptional existence possessed an extremely frightening strength. If one wished to muddle along within this incomparably vast eastern region, a subordinate faction with the Gu clan above them possessed an effective, powerful card. 
The Gu clan was a mysterious and powerful clan with talent that caused an ordinary person to feel extreme envy since the ancient times. The training path that was unusually tough in the eyes of an ordinary person appeared like a flat, wide road that led to the sky in the eyes of someone from the Gu clan. All they needed was tiny bit of training in order to become an expert in the eyes of an ordinary person, swiftly surpassing those of the same generation who trained with great effort. Ultimately, those many dazzlingly lights would overlap above people's heads. The Falling Star Pavilion was far from the eastern region. Even with the speed of Xiaoyan's group and the use of some wormholes, it would require at least half a month to reach the eastern region. Xiaoyan's group could only hurry in. By counting the time, there was merely less than a month until the adult ceremony. If they were late, it was likely that they would miss this rare occasion. An enormous black figure rushed through the azure sky. Wave after wave of wind and airflow was made visible to the naked eye. According to this speed of ours, we should reach the eastern region tomorrow. However, it is rumored that the entrance to the Gu realm is located in a city called Gu Sacred City within the eastern region. A couple of figures were seated on the enormous body of a nine serene deep ground python. The little fairy doctor held a map in her hand as she explained the situation to Xiao Yin in front of her. Gu Sacred City, huh? Xiao Yin nodded. He had heard of this name. The reputation of this city in the eastern region surpassed the Pill Tower's Holy Pill City because it was the entrance to the Gu realm. The Gu Sacred City is a city that prohibits outsiders from entering. Quite a number of experts from the Gu realm guard it. If one does not possess an invitation card, even top Dozun experts would not be able to barge into it even if they wanted to. The little fairy doctor laughed. However, this is not a problem for us. There are quite a number of large cities within the eastern region that possess a wormhole that connect to the area around the Gu Sacred City. At that time, all we need is to use a wormhole to reach the Goose Sacred City. If no unforeseen circumstances occur, we will appear outside the Goose Sacred City in five days. Xiaoyan nodded. He turned to Qing Lin and asked, There have been no problems, right? I, there is not a single spatial fluctuation within a 50 kilometer radius. We have left very abruptly. Even if the Hall of Souls wishes to follow us, it would not be easy to do so. Qing Lin slightly nodded. Three tiny black spots were slowly rotating within her eyes. Any energy fluctuations within a 50-kilometer radius were captured by her eyes. With Qing Lin as a scout, it would be quite difficult for the Hall of Souls to follow them and launch a surprise attack. Xiaoyan smiled when he heard this. He said, in that case, increase our speed. That large tail of the nine serene deep ground python was suddenly swung when his words sounded. Its enormous body shot forward like a meteorite and disappeared into the horizon within the blink of an eye. Cheyenne's trip was smooth throughout the way. On the morning of the next day, his group had arrived in the territory belonging to the eastern region of the Central Plains. However, they did not stop along the way. Instead, they found a large city with a wormhole that led to the area around the Goose Sacred City, after which they entered it without stopping. While they were shuttling through the wormhole, Xiao Yan's group was a little surprised to discover that this wormhole was extremely lively. Occasionally, a ray of light would flow by within the spatial tunnel. One could even see some experts walking in the air. The weakest person that Xiao Yan saw was a dozo. Clearly, these people were all heading to Gu Sacred City. However, he didn't know which factions these people belonged to. Due to the area being crowded and messy, Xiao Yan's group did not chat with those around them. Instead, they quietly traveled. Another five days swiftly passed. On the fifth day, Xiao Yin, who had kept his eyes shut, slowly opened them. His eyes focused on the end of the silver spatial tunnel. The spatial energy rippled. A silver light cluster vaguely appeared. Have we finally arrived? Xiao Yin gently sighed as he studied that light cluster. A fiery heat quietly climbed into his heart. That alluring figure that could bring disaster to countries and cities gradually became clearer within his mind. Sanair, I have arrived. That youth, who had once been shaken by this mysterious clan to the point of being speechless, was finally about to meet them. An incomparably vast grassy plain extended into the distance. A lush green color filled one's eyes, emitting an exuberant life force. A majestic and towering large stone square stood here. The large stone square was around a thousand feet in size. It was supported by a countless number of enormous stone pillars. From a distance, it appeared like a giant standing between the sky and earth, 
giving one a spectacular feeling. A distorted color appeared above this huge stone square. Occasionally, some silver lights would flicker and numerous figures rushed out of them to gently land in the square. This extremely spacious square was filled with people. Noise gathered together and charged to the clouds. The space in the air once again distorted at this moment. A couple of figures came out of it. These figures steadily landed on the large stone platform. They lifted their eyes and looked around them while a surprise surfaced on their faces. This should be the Goose Stone Square that is mentioned on the map. It seems that we did not take a wrong turn. The little fairy doctor smiled as she glanced around this majestic and towering large stone platform. After which, she informed Xiao Yin beside her. I, Xiao Yin nodded. His eyes swept over this enormous platform. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to sense that the auras on the platform were all quite strong. There were even some auras that even he had to treat seriously. It is indeed worthy of being the Gu clan. Those who can be invited by them are all true experts. This ability to gather people is really quite frightening. Tian Huazunja by the side nodded slowly and exclaimed. Shayan smiled. He looked to the east. He could vaguely see the outline of an extremely enormous city at the edge of his sight. He said, that place is our destination, the Gu sacred city. Let's go. An impatience surfaced on Xiao Yan's face when he finished speaking. His heart was curious to learn more about this mysterious Gu realm. Moreover, there was still the tomb of his Xiao clan ancestor within the Gu realm. Being his descendant, Xiao Yan needed to make a trip there no matter what. Naturally, no one objected to Xiao Yan's words. The group ceased delaying at this moment. Their bodies moved, and they rushed into the high sky before flying in the direction of the distant city. There were quite a number of people taking the same route as Xiao Yan's group. From the flying speed of these people, it was possible to tell that they were all quite strong. However, Xiao Yan did not meet any faction that he was familiar with along the way. Only then did his heart feel odd. It was said that the Central Plains had many hidden experts. These words were indeed true now that he had experienced them. The strength of these experts was not the least bit inferior to some top faction elders. Normally, they would not reveal themselves. They kept such low profiles that it was frightening. Although the grassy plains were vast, it was nothing to Xiao Yan's group. Within less than ten minutes, the vaguely visible city had appeared in their sight. Xiao Yan was a little stunned when he saw this city for the first time because this city was not filled with a dominating aura as they had imagined. The city was built from large pale green rocks. Perhaps it was due to the erosion of time, but this city appeared to have decayed. An unusually ancient aura spread from the city, causing one to sense a slight ancient feeling. As they approached, Xiao Yan's group finally discovered that this ancient city was encased in a transparent light barrier. This light barrier might appear thin and frail, but it created a pressure that seemed to originate from the soul. This pressure caused quite a number of people's expressions to change. Respect appeared on the faces of the experts familiar with the origins of the city. This Gu sacred city has stood since ancient times. It is rumored that it was built by the elite Do Di from the Gu clan. The light barrier contains part of the Do Di strength. With the protection of this light barrier, this Gu sacred city is impenetrable. Tian Huazunja softly explained. It seemed that he was familiar with this city. Do Di's strength. No wonder it is this frightening. Xiao Yin came to a sudden understanding. No wonder the pressure he felt within his soul was growing denser the closer he approached the city. As an act of respect to an elite Do Di, flying is forbidden within a 10,000 foot radius of the Gu sacred city. We will have to walk in on foot. Otherwise, the pressure would increase. Tian Huazunja smiled. After which, he took the lead to land on the ground. Xiaoyan's group quickly followed from behind. Their speed was not reduced even after they had landed. They transformed into numerous blurry figures that quickly rushed to the ancient city. Xiaoyan's group slowly stopped in front of the entrance to the Gu Sacred City. The Gu Sacred City was not a city that one could randomly enter. Unless one obtained an invitation from the Gu clan, an ordinary person was prohibited from entering it. Although the procedure to enter the city was extremely complicated, no one dared to behave atrociously due to the renowned reputation of the Gu clan. Xiaoyan's group followed the rest of the people and slowly advanced. Some time later, they finally arrived at the entrance of the city. Xiaoyan swept his gaze around, only to see nearly a hundred black-armored figures holding long spears and standing straight on both sides of the city's gate. Sharp eyes continued to roam around. 
Wave after wave of powerful auras radiated their bodies, causing one to involuntarily exclaim that the Gu clan was really grand. Xiaoyan's eyes shifted away from these black-armored human figures. Suddenly, they paused on a familiar figure at the city's entrance. His eyes immediately narrowed. A figure was standing tall and straight at the entrance to the city. The pale green armor that he wore caused him to appear a little colder. His back swayed with the wind, causing him to appear to be in high spirits. This familiar figure was naturally that of the commander of the black submerged army, Ling Quan, who had formed a grudge with Xiao Yin. It was unexpected that Xiao Yin would end up meeting Ling Quan the moment he arrived at Gu Sacred City. It was really the case of enemies frequently crossing paths. When Xiao Yin noticed Ling Quan, Ling Quan's cold stern eyes found him. Ling Quan was immediately startled before his face swiftly became dark and solemn. Xiao Yin, who allowed you to head to this place? Ling Quan's ugly expression and cold cry caused quite a number of eyes to emit a swoosh sound as they shifted. Finally, they paused on Xiao Yin with some surprise. The matter of Xiao Yin having become the champion of the pill gathering had already spread across the Central Plains. The current Xiao Yin possessed a great reputation in the Central Plains. However, from the looks of his appearance now, it seemed that this pill gathering champion had some grudge with this young commander from the Gu clan. Xiaoyan's expression remained calm in the face of Ling Quan cold cry. He flicked his finger and a jade invitation appeared from his storage ring. It carried a sharp wind as it explosively shot toward Ling Quan. Ling Quan's expression sank when he saw this invitation. He let out a cold snort as Do Qi lingered on his hand. He suddenly reached out and caught the jade invitation. When Ling Quan's hand touched the jade invitation, a frightening temperature suddenly materialized from it, burning his palm until it dense white fog was emitted. The intense pain that caused Ling Quan's expression to become gloomy. However, it was fortunate that he was not an ordinary person. He clenched his teeth and forcefully endured it. His hand tapped the jade invitation and absorbed the information from within it. So you are actually from the Falling Star Pavilion. How can such a faction receive an invitation from my Gu clan? Ling Quan coldly laughed. His tone contained some disdain. The old Falling Star Pavilion did not possess the qualification to receive such an invitation. It is written on it. If you are illiterate, you can go and ask the members of your Gu clan. Return the Jade invitation. Xiaoyan faintly instructed. Xiaoyan's tone caused Ling Quan to furiously grit his teeth. His hand gripped the Jade invitation tighter as he coldly said, You can just come over and take it. Ling Quan's words had just sounded when he suddenly sensed his eyes become dazzled. The jade invitation in his hand immediately left it. By the time he recovered, the jade invitation had appeared in Xiao Yan's hand in front of him. This caused Ling Quan's face to turn red almost instantly. It was unexpected that he had only just uttered these words when Xiao Yan had snatched back the jade invitation. He had lost a great amount of face. This Ling Quan appeared to have forgotten his current identity because of his anger from this embarrassment. He let out a furious cry. Sharp wind violently slammed towards Xiao Yan. Xiaoyan's face was calm. He cupped his hands to this man, who was called Fifth Commander, in front of him. That's right, he is that Xiaoyan who young Miss has mentioned. Ling Quan coldly laughed. His eyes tried to bore into Xiaoyan. That gaze of his was filled with envy and an unwillingness as he said, Are you planning on allowing him in now? Xiaoyan slowly knit his brows when he heard the conversation between the two. It seemed that quite a number of people in the Gu clan were aware of his name, probably because of Sun Air. The fifth commander was quiet for a moment. His eyes were complicated as he glanced at Xiao Yan. After which, he turned his head and furiously chided Ling Quan. Do you have any brain? He possesses a jade invitation. That means he is a guest invited by our Gu clan. These actions of yours, are you planning to allow others to mock our Gu clan for not knowing etiquette? Ling Quan's face alternated between green and white after being furiously reprimanded by fifth commander but he was unable to say much due to the other party having a higher status than him. All he could do was let out a cold snort and withdraw. Mr. Xiaoyan, please enter. Please wait in the Gu Sacred City for a couple of days. There will be someone who will bring all of you into the Gu realm when the time comes. After reprimanding Ling Quan, the fifth commander cupped his hands to Xiaoyan as he spoke in a deep voice. Xiaoyan nodded. Although this fifth commander had formed a hint of animosity for him, he was impartial. This was much better than Ling Quan. However, the thing that caused Xiao Yin to feel some doubt was that this was the first time he had met this person. Where did his enmity come from? 
Could it be still because of Sinair? Xiaoyan bitterly laughed in his heart. As the saying went, a beauty brought trouble. Moreover, Sinair's beauty could bring disaster to a country and its people. He had a premonition that this trip to the Gu clan would not be smooth. Xiaoyan led the little fairy doctor and the rest into the city. While he was walking by the fifth commander, the fifth commander hesitated for a moment before cupping his hands together to say, If this is not too abrupt, may I find time to spar with Mr. Xiaoyan? I really wish to see if you are really compatible with young miss. The last sentence was as weak as a housefly. However, it clearly formed in Xiaoyan's ears. Upon hearing this sentence, Xiaoyan sighed, as expected. Xiaoyan slowly nodded and did not open his mouth to make an excuse to reject it. He was clearly aware of Sin Er's status within the Gu clan. With her demeanor and talent along with her extremely great beauty, it was likely that most of the young and handsome men within this Gu realm possessed some feelings for her. They would naturally treat Xiao Yin as a love rival who posed the greatest threat. Xiao Yin clearly understood that this kind of sparring would increase in the future. Moreover, these matches would progress beyond sparring. Xiao Yin's heart felt miserable because of his future fate. He waved his hand and led the little fairy doctor's group into this ancient city in front of many gazes. A dark chill flashed across Ling Quan's eyes as he watched Xiao Yan's back disappear. He softly muttered, Xiao Yin, it was fine if you hide outside. Now that you have come to the Gu clan and invited in humiliation, you can only blame yourself for being blind. With this little strength of yours, you do not possess the qualifications to act fiercely among the younger generation of my Gu clan. Xiaoyan was naturally unable to hear Ling Quan's dark voice. His group passed through the city wall and entered the city, which permeated with an ancient aura. The current Gu sacred city was lively. Human traffic frequently filled the streets. Although there wasn't as much human traffic compared to other cities, most of people who could walk within this city possessed a great strength. We should head to the area within the city that is set up for people to rest. I have already made inquiries. The door that heads to the Gu realm will be opened in three days. All of us have to remain in this Gu sacred city during these three days. The little fairy doctor smiled as she explained the situation the group after she had obtained some information. Xiaoyan took the lead. He started to slowly walk to the middle of the city after uttering those words. The little fairy doctor and the rest swiftly followed behind. The group shuttled through the city for over ten minutes before arriving at the middle. A spacious manor with towering buildings stood here. There was a continuous flow of people entering and leaving the entrance of the manor. The numerous powerful auras that spread caused Xiao Yan's group to exchange sidelong glances with each other. The palm wind of Ling Quan danced. Before he could strike Xiao Yin, his eyes were dazzled once again. A leg smashed into his chest with lightning-like speed. The frightening force sent him flying backwards before he collided with the city wall. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out of Ling Quan's mouth after he fell from the city wall. His face was filled with disbelief and shock. When he had met Xiao Yin in the Yi clan back then, his strength was still one star higher than Xiao Yan's. Back then, he might not have been able to defeat Xiao Yin, but he was still able to exchange blows. Now, however, he was unable to even see Xiao Yan's attack before he was utterly defeated. The gap between the two had already pulled apart by a terrifying extent. This extreme change almost caused his arrogant self to vomit blood. How many years has it been? The brat that he had viewed like an ant at the inner academy back then was already standing on his head. Some surprise flashed across the eyes of the surrounding people when they saw Xiao Yin force a one-star Dou Zun back with a kick. They had not expected Xiao Yin to possess such attainments for Dou Qi along with his great achievements in medicinal refinement. Commander Lin Quan, I'm sorry that my blow was a little heavy. However, Please avoid doing such a stupid thing next time. After all, there aren't many who hold back like me. Xiaoyan flicked the jade invitation into his storage ring. After which, he glanced at the shocked face of Ling Quan and smiled as spoke. Black submerged section, capture him. Ling Quan furiously cried out. His eyes immediately reddened when he saw the smile on Xiaoyan's face. The hundred black armored Gu clan warriors standing before the city's entrance did not hesitate when they heard this furious cry. The long spears in their hands immediately emitted swoosh sounds as they were aimed at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's expression slowly became gloomy when he saw this scene. The little fairy doctor and the rest beside Xiao Yan became gloomy when they saw the many black submerged army warriors pointing the long spears in their hands at Xiao Yan. 
Their bodies moved, and they appeared beside Xiao Yan. Their vast and mighty dochis quietly surged. The atmosphere at the city's gate had become a swords drawn one as both parties faced each other. Some people's eyes were observing Xiao Yan's group with some interest. They were surprised that his group dared to attack a member of the Gu clan at the Gu sacred city. Ling Quan, as the commander of the Black Submerged Army, are you planning on abusing your authority for a private grudge? This Jade Invitation was issued by the Gu Clan. Since we possess this Jade Invitation, we are guests of the Gu Clan. With your status, you do not have the qualification to capture me, right? Xiaoyan's face sank as he coldly laughed. Ling Quan's was dull when he heard this. He was just about to let out a cold cry when a loud shout suddenly exploded from beyond the city wall. A figure rushed down in a lightning-like manner. It landed heavily in front of the city gate like a metal tower. Ling Quan, what are you doing? Ling Quan's expression changed when he saw that figure rushing down from the city wall. He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and said, It's nothing. That human figure frowned when he heard this. His eyes drifted toward Xiao Yan's group. Using this opportunity, Xiao Yan got a clear look of this person's face. Like Ling Quan, this person was wearing bright armor. However, his aura was clearly much stronger than Ling Quan's aura. Based on Xiaoyan's senses, he should be an expert three-star dozone. Greetings to 5th Commander. The surrounding black submerged army warriors respectfully cried out when they saw this man. One of them swiftly summarized the events that had occurred earlier. You are that Xiaoyan? The man wearing the light green armor was startled when he heard the name Xiaoyan. He frowned and glanced at Xiaoyan again. His expression vaguely contained an extremely faint enmity. Falling Star Pavilion Xiaoyan by relying on the Gu clan's jade invitation, Xiao Yan's group successfully entered the manor. After which, they followed a pretty female servant to a quiet house. Due to them having traveled nonstop during this period of time, most of them felt a little tired after entering the quiet house. They chatted briefly before finding their own rooms to rest. A lady in pale green clothes was seated within a dense cloud that lingered over a mountain. The fog churned causing her to appear just like a fairy with her ethereal demeanor. Young miss, young master Xiao Yin has reached Gu Sacred City. An elderly figure flashed and appeared on the mountaintop while the quiet lady's eyes were shut. He respectfully informed the young lady after appearing. The elder's words had just sounded when he sensed the space in front of him rippling. When he raised his head, he discovered that the lady had already appeared in front of him. That pretty face, which contained a smile, caused the pretty scene around to instantly become much dimmer. Who else could this face belong to other than Sunair? Old Ling, is he well? The young lady's gentle voice appeared to possess a special demonic force. Even the clouds of this place rippled because of it. The current young master Xiao Yin is no longer someone that the old me can see through. Based on the information that I have received, Ling Quan, whose strength is at the one-star Dozun class, was unable to even last one exchange in Xiao Yan's hands. Young Master Xiao Yin is at least a four-star Dozun, the old man sighed. His tone contained an exclamation that he could not hide. When he had been protecting Xiao Yin back then, he had merely been a small doja. However, within a short ten years or so, that tender youth from back then had reached a stage where even the old man couldn't tell his strength. Young Miss's eyesight is indeed good. Sun Air smiled when she heard Ling Ying's exclamation. She had been undertaking a deep retreat during these years. The matters of the outside world had seldom entered her ears. Even though this was the case, she understood that the current Xiao Yin was definitely well known in the central plains because she had believed in his strength from the beginning. Even when he was down and out, she still believed in him. However, young miss, the matter that you announced in the clan some time ago will likely cause young master Xiao Yin some trouble. Ling Ying hesitated for a moment before speaking. Sun Air smiled but did not give an additional explanation. The matters of the heart were extremely mysterious. Time was unable to cause them to disappear. Instead, time had brewed this feeling until it was mellow and fragrant. Even though the status and strength of the two had undergone a great change, their lives from the small Wu-Tin city still existed in their hearts. Those tender feelings had finally matured. Ling Ying could only bitterly laugh when he heard her silence. Some time ago, this blessed child within the Gu clan had used a calm tone to utter some words that caused all the elders' faces to twitch during an elder meeting. The elders on the elder meeting had been discussing the matter of her marriage after she had left her retreat. 
These words were the reason why Xiao Yin faced the enmity from the young geniuses of the Gu clan the moment he arrived in Gu Sacred City. Regardless of whether all of you oppose or support me, I only like him, and none of you will be able to change that fact. Just this one sentence alone caused the faces of most of the elders in the Gu clan to turn green. When warm sunlight glinted through the window the next morning, Xiao Yin, who had been training, slowly opened his eyes. The space around Xiao Yin formed a mysterious fluctuation the moment he opened his eyes. Wave after wave of different colored dochi quietly poured into Xiao Yan's brows. Finally, they merged with his soul. With this great single soul skill, my spiritual training is progressing quite fast. An expression of being full of praise surfaced on Xiao Yan's face when he sensed the full feeling that was being transmitted from the spot between his brows. He had worked hard to practice the great single soul skill the moment he had any free time. The gains he had obtained were quite great. His spiritual aura, which had been extremely difficult to increase, was automatically improved by nature when he circulated the great single soul skill. This strange method was indeed worthy of being an item from ancient times. Shayan smiled and stood up from his bed. He stretched his body before pushing the door to his room open. He exited the room. After finding Little Fairy Doctor and the others, the entire group left the house. This large manor had already filled with experts from all over. These experts either possessed a great strength or had a powerful faction supporting them. It was naturally lively when these people gathered together. Cheyenne's group idly roamed around before stopping at a wine shop that occupied a vast part of the manor. There was a big stone platform in the middle of this large wine shop. Dochi erupted from the stone platform as two figures exchanged blows with lightning-like speed. The interesting fight caused many observers to repeatedly cry out good. The two people on the platform were about six star dozongs. They were experts with some reputation in the outside world. However, they didn't attract Xiao Yin. His group found a table in the wine shop that was closed to the window before sitting down. Their eyes swept over the wine stop and discovered quite a number of people with great strength. Have you inquired about some information related to that black submerged army? After a female servant served tea, Xiao Yin glanced at the fight on the stage before softly asking. He was about to make contact with this Gu clan. Naturally, he needed to gain a greater understanding of them. This so-called black submerged army was rumored to be where the strongest warriors of the Gu clan gathered, and it possessed an extremely powerful fighting strength. Xiao Yin needed to obtain some news with regards to them. The little fairy doctor grinned and nodded. She exchanged looks with Tian Huazunja before softly replying, The status of the black submerged army is quite high within the Gu clan because a harsh selection requirement is imposed. Not only must they be absolutely loyal to the Gu clan, they must also reach a certain level by a certain age. It is rumored that the black submerged army is tested every year. Those who fail to meet the test requirements are expelled. Hence, the quality of the Black Submerged Army is quite high. Ling Quan is merely ranked 7th. Huh? Xiao Yin narrowed his eyes. Ling Quan had the strength of a 1-star Dozun, while that 5th commander possessed the strength of a 3-star Dozun. Then, would the 1st commander of the Black Submerged Army possess a strength of 6 stars or higher? It is indeed worthy of being the Gu Clan. Xiao Yin gently nodded. Those among the younger generation who could reach the strength of a six-star Dozun were definitely great geniuses. Although the members of the Gu clan possessed the Dodi bloodline, these commanders still showed off the clan's great strength. The current Yu is not very likable in the eyes of these young geniuses from the Gu clan. Quite a number of them even view you as a love rival. I think that you will find your time in the Gu clan to be quite frustrating. The little fairy doctor covered her mouth and softly laughed. There should not be many members of the Gu clan who are aware of the relationship between Sun Air and I, right? Xiao Yin frowned and asked. There weren't many some time ago. However, according to the information that I have gathered, this matter is known by everyone because Sun Air has personally admitted the relationship between the two of you during an elders meeting. The little fairy doctor laughed. Xiao Yin was stunned. He bitterly laughed, this girl. She is really quite bold. However, if that is what she has said, then so be it. This matter would ultimately be exposed. As for the geniuses of the Gu clan, they can do as they like. I have been aware from the very beginning that I would not find much peace within this Gu realm. Xiaoyan was already familiar with Sin Er's great beauty and allure. 
This Gu clan also possessed many geniuses. Being talented, these young people would definitely not be fond of an ordinary lady. Hence, Sun Air, who not only possessed an extremely beautiful appearance but also an exceeding talent, would naturally be the target of their pursuit. Among the eight great commanders, more than half of them view you as a love rival who pose the greatest threat. If you meet them, they will definitely find an excuse to spar with you. The little fairy doctor laughed. Of course, I think that the ones who pose the greatest threat aren't these people. Instead, it will be the four great generals. For great generals? Xiao Yin was quiet. A solemnness surged into his heart. What he had obtained at this age of his was at the top within the central plains. However, now that he had arrived at this Gu clan, which was filled with talent, he finally understood that such an achievement was not enough to be proud of. Since the rank of these generals was higher than the commanders, it was likely that even the weakest general would be stronger than the first commander. If one thought about it, the strength of these four great generals would be similar to the ninth Tianzuan of the Hall of Souls. Is the Dodi bloodline really so powerful? Shayan slowly exhaled a breath of air. He truly sensed some pressure. His training speed was already elusive in the eyes of those from the same generation, but it still appeared a little weak when compared with the ultimate geniuses from the Gu clan. There is always someone better. This phrase is indeed true. Although I am not aware of the four highly respected generals' attitudes toward you, Sinair is a blessed child of the Gu clan. The attraction she poses to geniuses like them is incomparable. Therefore, you should pay more attention. The little fairy doctor reminded Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin narrowed his eyes. A ruthless expression flashed through them. Forget about just how strong these so-called generals were. No one could stop the relation between him and Sun Air. Although he only possessed the strength of a five-star Dozun, he was unafraid of even a seven- or eight-star elite Dozun if they were to really fight. Hence, he hoped that these four great commanders did not think of him as some soft persimmon. Those who possess the Dodi bloodline indeed have a smooth training path. However, this speed halts just before the Doshin class. Even though an ancient clan like the Gu clan possesses many elite Dozuns, there aren't many people who can step into the Doshin class. If one wishes to advance to that level, one can only rely on oneself. At such a moment, the Dodi bloodline becomes a burden. Therefore, you need not compete with these fellows in terms of your current achievements. When you reach the Doshan class in the future, these people might only remain in the Dozun class. Tian Huazunja stretched his lazy waist and laughed. Shaya nodded. An elite Doshin was a peak existence in this world. Although the Dodi bloodline was powerful, it was impossible to create a large number of such experts. Otherwise, it would be opposing the laws of the world. While Xiaoyan's group drank and chatted among themselves, Two icy cold gazes from the upper level of this wine shop had locked onto Xiao Yan. He is that Xiao Yan? A young, handsome green robed man glanced at Xiao Yan's back. His unusually long hand was gently knocking on the rail as he asked in a faint voice. Third brother, he is that Xiao Yan who young miss mentioned. He possesses a great reputation within the central plains. His arrogance has not diminished a little even now that he has come to our Gu clan. A cold laugh replied. By following the sound and looking over, that person was Ling Quan, who had been kicked by Xiao Yan yesterday. This is not the Central Plains, the green-clothed man smiled. His smile contained a faint chill as he said, Although we might not catch the eyes of young miss, someone of such a level should also not have that qualification. You better not do anything reckless. They're guests. A strongly built man frowned as he spoke. He was the fifth commander from yesterday. Relax. Everything will happen according to the rules. The green man laughed in a dark yet gentle manner. After his voice sounded, a victor was decided among the two figures fighting on the stone stage below. The both of them withdrew. Immediately, a loud clear voice attracted everyone's gazes. A skinny man leaped up and cried out loud. The ones who will fight next will be the third commander of the black submerged army, Yang Hao, and the champion of the pill gathering, Xiao Yan. A short distance away, Xiao Yan's hand, which had just lifted a teacup, suddenly shook. Immediately, his face slowly turned gloomy. He seemed to have fallen into someone's trap.